so much for joining us at 10 o'clock as we have seen quite the day at the Tennessee Capitol. Two representatives expelled and Gloria Johnson stays on by just a single vote. Let's start with Danielle Jackson. So Danielle, you have been at the Capitol for hours now. Walk us through exactly what happened tonight. Tracy and Marius, what an explosive time at the Capitol today. A history making moment where two House Democrats were voted out of the House, meaning they no longer represent their prospective districts, Justin Jones and Justin Pearson. We will never quit. Two Democratic House members expelled, Representative Justin Jones and Representative Justin Pearson, making the first time in state history that a House member has been removed for alleged chamber rules violation. We need sustained nonviolence, non cooperation with a supermajority that we see destroy democracy today. This vision that we have of a movement for justice to end gun violence in the state of Tennessee, yeah. it was spoken in prophecies well before we got here. Representative Gloria Johnson surviving the expulsion, House members voting to keep her seat 65 to 30. She shared thoughts on why she's remaining in the House, but not two of her colleagues. Other than me being a white lady, I don't know what else it was. The three members known as the Tennessee Three stood in front of the well of the House chambers during the hearing, answering questions and pleading their case on why they chose to speak out against gun violence last Monday while in session. Jones and Pearson, along with their many supporters, say the fight for justice will continue. And they think that the issue's over. Yeah. We'll see you on Monday. But one thing we won't do is ever quit. Now, both Jones and Pearson are planning to be at the Capitol at on Monday during session along with their supporters. Tracy Marius. Danielle, thank you. Now, while those three were talking outside, inside the Capitol, Republicans were giving their response. They brought up what happened in this video clip time and time again. This happened Monday. The House Speaker said the three protested and broke decorum. Let's just be clear that we all understand what they did. It was called a protest. You can call it peaceful, you can call it whatever, but they had a protest against House policy on the floor because they wanted to. Here's something interesting about how expelling works in the House. You cannot be expelled twice for the same reason. Some House Democrats are expecting those representatives to come back. Most of us just said, we'll, we'll see you when you get reappointed. <laughs> Uh, you know, the thing they didn't talk about is, uh, and they kept citing Article 2, Section 12. So Article 2, Section 12 says you may be expelled, but you can't be expelled twice for the same reason. So when they come back, we'll see how they react then. I believe that it's going to happen. I believe that we will reinstate Justin Jones. So Metro Council leaders are saying the same thing. We've seen Brett Weathers, Freddie O'Connell and Sharon Hurt on Twitter saying they'll vote to reinstate Justin Jones. Jones's replacement has to be a qualified voter from District 52 who will take office until a special election. So city leaders could vote to put Jones back in his seat. I would just ask people uh, to be anxious about nothing. I have seen Nashville be at its best when we are at our worst. This is when we come together and show our solidarity and our unity. I think we will rise from all of these things that are happening. Here's a tweet from Mayor Cooper. He believes council will send Jones back to continue serving his constituents. Council already has a special meeting set up. It's for Monday at 430. They'll look at a replacement and vote on an election. Shelby County, where Justin Pearson is from, also has a special meeting. No time set yet on this one. Since 8 a.m. this morning, people have protested both outside and inside the Capitol. Many of them were also here Monday, and they want to send a message. That sends the message that they're scared of our voices and trying to silence us. They're scared of the power we have. Thousands of students showed out on Monday, and now they're trying to take away the representation we have and the representatives that are standing with us. They are with March for Our Lives, that young lady there. They also rallied with the Tennessee Three, as they're known, right after the House session. And as we heard, they will be back on Monday to protest again. President Biden is also tweeting about this. He said, quote, what are GOP officials focused on? Punishing lawmakers who join the thousands of peaceful protesters calling for action. It's shocking, undemocratic and without precedent, end of quote, similar to what his press secretary said.
by doing what they're doing uh, with these three Democratic legislators, they're shrugging in the face of yet another tragic school uh, shooting while our kids continue to pay the price. That's what we're seeing every time that we hear one of these tragic uh, events. Expulsions have only happened three times since the Civil War, once in 1980, once in 2016, and last year when the Senate expelled Katrina Robinson.